All right, hi, I'm Leonard Schmiggy down here in St. Petersburg. I just left the movie showing at Studio 620, the movie Outrage, which was, in my opinion, an exceptionally uh, good movie. And we, I wanted to get the opinion of two others who saw it. The movie was put on by, uh, I guess, a, a, a deal between Studio 620 and WMNF. And it raised some money for WMNF, I, yeah. I believe. So what do you guys think? I give, can you give us your names and what you thought about the movie? Uh, my name's Scott Elliott. I just thought it was uh, just an excellent film. I think it's very informative. And it was it was kind of shocking in a way. I mean, I knew the stuff existed, but not in the manner, that, the magnitude that it had. And, and the people who were so closely connected in the Republican Party especially. Just amazing how, how they were involved in so much negative... Uh, uh, legislation for the GLBT community. Unbelievable. Yeah. Right. The movie had shown how it was, if, if they were a closeted gay legislator, that they were ten times worse than... Yeah, they were even, hanging out with the you know, bullies. <laughs> hanging out with the bullies, <laughs> and, yeah. and they were kind of leading them. Mm -hmm. They were the first to throw the stones, basically. Right. As far as I can see. Uh-huh. I, I thought it was interesting because when I uh, saw... Uh, saw the movie, I, it changed my perspective immediately or it cleared up any uh, confusion over whether or not it was right or wrong to be outing people. Yeah. And uh, it clearly made a point that it wasn't a matter of outing someone to hurt them, but it was showing the hypocrisy of uh, not being out as a gay politician and uh, you know the damage that it can do to people's lives that that right. I didn't expect to see and uh, it, it uh, the damage the closeted the um, closeted guys were doing to people's lives doing, and even their own families and they right. just had one dynamite example after another and uh, you know I hope it comes to my public library so I can uh, I think everybody should see this at parties and show it and so uh -huh. It's it's not the kind of movie that talks about like outing people as like sort of a tabloid type thing, like e, you know like Entertainment Tonight or something like that. This is this is outing as activism, true activism to save to save lives and to save people's lives socially as well as every other way. Right. And I think this it's I think it's a very important film that uh -huh. everybody should see. And they listed examples where you you know you got the idea the the I think the accurate perception that. Those closeted homosexual politicians actually did, um, because in New York they would give no money for any AIDS funding. Right, they were exactly. so afraid of it that so that that probably did damage people's lives or you know led yeah. to more deaths. And we know with Reagan's take yeah. on it, you know how much damage that probably well, caused. The most powerful thing for me was the there was this little clip on uh, Harvey Milk talking about if everybody would just come out. If people would just come out, we can get elected, and that's what happened in 30 some odd years ago. Um, and this is you know, new. It, it's still it's years. still true. If people would just come out, we wouldn't solve every problem, but they'd be. Able, I think things would be more solvable, at least on the table, on uh -huh. the table at least. Uh -huh. Now that was. Now what about? I'd like you to bring back up your point on the. Uh, you were co-chair of the Gay Pride Parade here in St. Petersburg. And you said how important it was to, you were referring to politicians, political leaders, political I'm, I'm leaders assuming community leaders, leaders and right? Community leaders to come out to events, whether or not they have any affinity with Pride or any GLBT organizations, but to be out there and to, to support fellow citizens in their basically cultural activities. And that, that puts a spotlight in a way that the the full community can see that these people are legitimized um, in their s towns, in their cities, in their state, in their country. I mean, until you, until that happens, people will not be legitimized. And then your Joe Schmoes, well, they, they like to follow leaders, and for the leaders, the leaders need to be the ones to step up. Yeah. For example, mm -hmm. I met Jamie Bennett there. I know his stance on gay rights and gay pride, and 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 gay people in his community. I know he'll know who his constituents are as people, you know, mm -hmm. and, and be connected to them. Whereas, like, I'm so far removed from 
Rick Baker, even when he's at another event, I still feel so far removed in, in approaching him or, you know. And I, I, just, I was able to approach him. I but can't believe they allow that much money And he's money a nice guy. In. He's a real nice guy. I can't say anything bad about him as a person that way. But, you know, as soon as he knew who I was, officially, spin happened How hypocritical. Him. He just became a total different person. It's so mm -hmm. hypocritical for the so. city of St. Petersburg to take in all that money. You know, with an event like oh, that. Oh, with probably bringing from so much money all into over, the city, yeah. People come down from New York and all over, and for quite a bit of time, and they take in the money, and then they give back nothing. But, but see, it goes back to the whole thing with the number two, where, you know, the, the, pow the power happened with, with the, the whole change idea with Obama, and they, they focused a lot on poor people, they focused a lot on African Americans and youth, and got... Obama, Obama got the state of Florida, but with that, we lost some of our our uh, basic rights, which was basically they, the Amendment Two happened because, again, people were told change needs to happen with an African American uh, president. However, don't vote for gays to get married, or 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 basically they tricked a lot of people and told people that saying yes to to uh, to uh, Amendment Two meant that marriage was safe, that marriage was going to continue to exist, and that that's a lot a lot of misinformation happened, and um, it's unfortunate. But again, a lot of that spin, I'm sure, was devised by some closeted people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, and not alone. I mean, I'm not saying that only the gay people did it, but but you know, this gay right. closeted gay politicians, right? Who With knows better to trick? You know, who, who knows better the inside but the gay, you know, so, who's of that community. So we spent our, our summer vacation in, in uh, New Hampshire and Maine and uh, had a great time. We were, you know, with a little bit more with, positive. With his vibe. rights there. Yeah. And, and uh -huh. people didn't, you know. So still St. Petersburg is lacking. Yeah, we spent, oh, we spent our money elsewhere. Oh, definitely. I see. We didn't spend our money in Florida. Well, let me, as, yeah. as somebody who's uh, on the road to becoming a politician, if I get elected, because um, I'm running for, I'm running, I'm running for city council. <laughs> I, I wanted to make this about the movie Outrage, but it is yeah. specifically about politicians. Right. Okay, and sure. whether, and if you're gay, you should come out. And if you're straight, you should support the lesbian, gay, and high gender Community, right, right? right. So hopefully you will be on the co-chair again, and you'll, <laughs> I'll get elected, and I will uh, be able to participate. Well, in the next if not, I'll, I, know right. people, right. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people on the board, and I'll, I'll have them talk to you. You'll get Definitely. me. You'll have me hooked we'll up. We'll be knocking okay. on your door. <laughs> well, so in conclusion, see the movie Outrage. It's it's really it's a, and it's a very important movie. It's a powerful movie, and it's well made. Right. Yep. All right. Go Thanks a lot. It. Bye.